Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Jewel. I wanted to share something with you guys that I've been working on and I've been curious about for a long time. What are the actual odds of pulling EX figures in rainbow, gold, orange boosters and so forth? Because I like to know, I like to know when I click that button, what are the odds of pulling it? You know, if I open four, am I gonna pull two, three, one? Um, so there is no current stats on this, but I think it's safe to assume that we can work it out from the booster odds. Um, and doing a little bit of maths, I've, I've, I've put that together. Also, what I wanted to know is, actually in a 24 hour period, if I open 24 white boosters and only one rainbow booster, how many EX figures am I likely to pull? Uh, the reason I wanted to know that, I mean, you're not gonna get 24 white boosters in a row, I understand that, but when you are when you are in the uh, gym cups and you're just pulling one booster at a time, I want to know how the odds compare to that, because you can pull 24 of those in an hour period uh, easily. I've done that before. And how does that compare to opening one rainbow booster? So let's check it out. Here I have a list of the maths that I've been doing. So if you go to clicking on, this is basically only for Masters League um, because that's the full list of all the Pokemon available to you. I've added up exactly how many there are in each of these. Now I also take into account that this these calculations do not include ingots, green cubes, rare metal. Um, this is just purely looking at EX figures. If you go to the shop and you look at a booster and you check out exactly how much, what, what the odds are, it will tell you the box contents 0.5% chance on EX, rares 1.5% and uncommons. But there are no common figures. But each of them go up at a certain level. So it's it's three times for rare, EX to rare, uh, uncommon are, Three point, I believe, three point six times more rare, and just going up at that rate, I believe they upped it then to four point two. So here we have a column demonstrating how many rares, EX, uncommon and common Pokemon that there are available in normal boosters. Uh, that's locked boosters and timed boosters. In paid boosters, there is a 0.5% drop rate of each individual Pokemon. So like Gork, Garchomp and Charizard, if you get a single booster ticket, you've got a 0.5% chance of getting a, just that type of Pokemon. Altogether, there's about eight Pokemon in the booster set right now, I believe. Uh, so that gives you a 4% chance of dropping an EX. Now in the locked boosters and timed boosters, there's a reduced chance of getting individual EXs because there are 42 that you can get, but as well as that, there are 1,058 common Pokemon, 73 uncommon Pokemon that reduce your odds of getting them. So altogether, there is a 1.5% chance of pulling any EX from that. 4.5% chance of pulling any rare, 24% chance of pulling an uncommon Pokemon, and 70% chance of pulling a common Pokemon. Below, I have the statistics for chances of pulling uh, an EX in the uh, gold booster. So that obviously doesn't disregards all the common Pokemon, and also the odds of pulling a an EX from uh, a rainbow booster with that one pull where it's guaranteed to be rare or above. So we can see that the EX chance within a gold booster is 5% and the odds of pulling an EX in a rainbow booster is 25%. In the max figures in a 24 hour period, this basically details, you know, white boosters. If you open 24 in, in, in an hour, in 24 hours, you would get 24 figures. In a rainbow booster, however, you would pull three. Although I've put two because these are the, the ones that are just pure, you can have common, uncommon, rare, or uh, EX. Whereas I've also made a separate column for the percentage chance of pulling an EX figure. Um, so we've got a 5% chance within the gold at being uh, the max opening in a one hour period, you can open two of these, two 12s. And percentage chance of pulling a rainbow booster, 25% chance. Um, so your 25% is guaranteed to be an EX, the 75% is the rare, and you can only open one of them in a 24 hour period. In the final column, we have the total chance of getting an EX figure within a 24 hour period. Assuming that you are opening 24 white boosters, or one rainbow booster, or two gold boosters. 
and the odds are as what I thought they might be. That if you open 24 white boosters, now I understand you're not going to open 24 white boosters in a row, but you are going to do that probably within a month. And if you do that, the odds of you going to pull an EX figure from them is that you should pull them one in three times, 36% chance of pulling. So if you pull 24 times three, um, 24 times three, 72, if you pulled 72 white boxes, you should hypothetically definitely get a EX figure. And if you pull four rainbow boosters, so over across four days, you should hypothetically get an EX figure one of those times. Now, if we look at the blue, purple, and gold booster, we can see that the chances of pulling an EX figure in those are technically the lowest. Uh, that doesn't mean, obviously, gold is increased chance of getting an EX figure if you compare opening one gold booster to one white booster. But if you open one gold booster and 12 white boosters, you'd have a better chance of pulling an EX figure in those white boosters. And then also I did a calculation of the odds of getting a rare in a 24 hour period. If you open 24 white boosters, you have a 96% chance of pulling a rare. In rainbow boosters, you have a 94% chance. So still white boosters have a greater chance. Now I got asked on the Reddit when I posted this, uh, rare in EX is guaranteed. Um, why is it 94%? It should be 100%. 94% is rare, you're guaranteed to get an EX or rare. So if you don't get a rare, you get an EX. Um, that's why it's not 100%, okay? And 36%, 36% for blue and purple, and 58% for gold. So in terms of what this means, basically, rainbow boosters, it, obviously you can go to sleep and have a rainbow booster on, but the reason I really wanted to look at this is I was thinking, you know, what are the odds when I'm in the gym cup? In the gym cup, I will play one game, get a booster, and then I'll claim it, and then I'll restart. So I can easily do 24 of them in a day, easy. And compared to a rainbow booster, it's nice to know that actually, if I open 24 of those, I have a 36% chance of pulling an EX, and a 96% chance of pulling a rare. So I know that with that, if I put three days into the gym cup and win 75, say, or 72 to be exact, um, I have a pretty much 100% chance that one of those will be an EX. And that makes sense because I played 200, um, got 200 wins this, this uh, tournament, and I got four EXs. So that's above the expected rate. I got really lucky. Um, and it was estimated it should be between two and three AXs in a tournament if you get 200 wins. Uh, so that's why I really think those, although these are predicted um, percentages based on the, the boosters in the shop, that's why I feel like they make sense to me. They don't seem too big, they don't seem too small, they seem right on, on par with what I see when I pull boosters and when I pull a lot of boosters within a gym cup. So hopefully this information is helpful for you guys. Hopefully it will just kind of let you know what your chances are of getting EX figures, let you know how much you need to grind if you really want to pull EX figures in gym gym cups and what to expect if you are going into a gym cup and you're getting 50 wins don't expect to get an EX figure you know you need to hit 75 wins to get a really good chance of pulling an EX figure and don't expect to get loads if you do get the 200 wins expect to get around two to three okay so like I say any questions please put it down in the comments any advice on the maths if any of this is wrong I'm welcome, I'm not a mathematician, I just do like statistics sometimes when it comes to games. Um, and you know, if any of this is, it doesn't make sense to you, let me know, I'll, I'll explain it from where it came from in terms of my perspective. If any of you guys want to check out this table for yourself and try to make sense of it, um, I'll put a link below to the Reddit column that I uploaded it to. Okay, hopefully that you enjoyed it, hopefully it's made some sense, if you have, Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you next time.